Hello kids, good morning. Uh, sorry I'm late. I had some things to take care of this morning, um, but I didn't want us to get uh, behind at all. I'm going to go over uh, preparing a wet mount. Uh, what we were looking at previously were prepared slides. Uh, and if you notice some of them, uh, they, had, uh, they had a slide and they also had a, let me get it. Okay, so most of the ones, all of the ones that you looked at had the slide and it also had this other little square uh, right in the middle there and then the specimen was stuck in between. Okay, that's a prepared slide. Uh, we're going to prepare some slides today as well, hopefully, if we get the time. Um, but they're called wet mounts. These ones are sort of wet mounts, but they're not wet anymore because you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to prepare uh, some slides ourselves that are called wet mounts. Now, the two things you need to know of, about are what this item is. That is the slide. Okay, and then we're going to use one of these things. And these are made out of glass. So you really have to be careful with them, okay? Um, and if I'm not back in time, Mrs. Garner will help you with these ones. But even holding on to them, you'll want to hold on to the corner when you need them. Don't get them beforehand. When you need them, hold them on the corner because they're very, very fragile. This thing is called a cover slip. Let me bring that in a little bit. So we got our slide and we have the cover slip. Okay. Now the purpose of the cover slip is to go on top of the slide and wedged in between us, yet yeah, you guessed it, the specimen, whatever the heck it is that you're looking at. Okay. Now there's a certain procedure for making that happen and that's what I'm going to attempt to uh, go over right now. Okay. So on your slide, you're going to take your slide. Um, actually, you're going to make sure that you have your specimen, uh, everything, so that you can put it all together. Okay? You're going to take your slide, you're going to get a drop of water, and when I say drop, I don't mean the whole drop. If you use a whole drop of water, it, you will not have success. You'll have too much water. Okay? So that's plenty, actually, that might even be a, a too much. I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but that, there's our little drop of water. Okay. Now, you're going to want to put your specimen in there. Oh, I forgot my specimen. Just a second. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I'll use one of these. Oh, what's his name? Sorry. I'm going to use a little a letter. That's what we're going to look at. So that's good enough for a specimen. We're not going to do a piece of paper, although lots of people have done a piece of paper uh, with kids, but not this time. So then I place my specimen in the water. Okay? So far, so good. The reason why we put the cover slip on now is to squish it all down. That way it's flat enough that we can focus on it. We take our cover slip and we plunk it right on. Now, if you have too much water, this is actually pretty good. I'll tip it a little bit. If you have too much water, it will be oozing out from the cover slip. I happen to, <laughs> not trying to brag or anything, but I have a very uh, accurate amount of water there and nothing is leaking out around the edges and that uh, water has pulled the cover slip right tight to the slide and it, our specimen is nice and flat. Now we can take it and do what you've been doing for two days, right? And that is you put it under your microscope and you start on what power? That's right, low power. And then away you go and uh, you're laughing. Okay, that's how you prepare a wet mount. Now, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Garner, again, if I'm not there, Mrs. Garner is gonna kind of walk you through the steps on the board. I know you can't see it from there right now. Uh, I've kind of put the steps there very briefly on here. And I think all we'll have time for today is a, where do I have it, the root of your hair. So whoever you pair up with, or if you do a group of three, that is fine too, um, you're going to do the root of your hair, one hair. So when you're pulling it out, boing, whoever the, the victim is, make sure that you have a root at the end of that hair and you'll be laughing.
that will be your specimen for your first wet mount. Okay? So, just to review, you take a slide. Oh, those are, those are taped together. It's two. You take a slide, one slide. You put a very small, not even a drop of water on the slide. Specimen goes on, and for your for you guys, that's going to be a hair out of your head. Make sure you get the root because that'll be the most interesting thing to look at. You put it in the water. You take your cover slip, and you plunk it on top, and bada bing, bada boom, you have a wet mount. Thank you. I'll see you later. Probably sooner than later. <laughs>